In the era that we live today, it's very easy to be overwhelmed and get started with the rat race as soon as we open our eyes in the morning. And that's the reason why in today's video, I'm going to share The best morning habit that I have developed over the years is to wake up without an alarm. And waking up that way helps me start my morning in the calmest way possible as I'm not jolting up because of the alarm. Also, the science behind waking up without an alarm is that you are starting your day with a calm heart rate. And when you are waking up with an alarm, you are actually accelerating your heart rate even before you have woken up. And that can keep you anxious throughout the day. And our brain is going to work more in sync with the circadian rhythm, which is the sun cycle, if you are waking up and sleeping on your own without any help. When you wake up without an alarm, your cortisol levels, which is the activity hormone and has a very bad rapport as being called the stress hormone. But when you wake up without an alarm, it slowly rises and gives you the energy and activity that you require to finish your tasks in the day. And at the night, the same circadian rhythm or the sun cycle is going to let your brain release the melatonin, which is the sleep hormone, so that you sleep better as well. The second habit that I have developed for a calm and productive day and morning is to switch off my internet when I sleep in the night. Because when I wake up, if I am checking my phone for the time even, and there are a lot of notifications. There is a very fair chance that these notifications are going to compete with your attention and is going to give you that anxiety of checking what's happening with other people, checking what's happening on social media or just getting into the rut of scrolling the reels, which I think every one of us has done at some point. But it's not the best way to start your day because it's going to increase your cortisol levels really fast and will leave you anxious for the day. In fact, studies have also shown that there is a very close link between depression and your mobile usage. Yes, the era that we live in, we can't do without the gadgets. However, starting your day without the gadgets is going to neutralize the anxiety that these gadgets can cause and will help you start your day in a calm way and be productive throughout the day. The next habit that I have after waking up is to hydrate myself. But before that, I do have to brush my teeth because I can't have water without that. It depends on you. If you can hydrate without brushing your teeth first, then you can do that as well. But then that's how I prefer it. By this point, I think you understand the importance of calm mornings and how much I put the importance of calm mornings in my day. And that's the reason why the first few hours of the day are very slow for me. In fact, even if I have sessions very early in the morning, which can be as early as 8 a.m. because of the international clients and the time difference. But before the session, I will at least make sure that I, if not working out, I at least meditate every single day. We as human beings tend to carry a lot of emotional baggage with us and meditation works like that cleaning that you do of your house every single day so that the dust is not accumulated. And the same way I personally practice Sudarshan Kriya by the Art of Living Foundation and if I tell you that the benefits are only limited to what I'm going to mention in this video I will be really stupid. But the life changes when you start to meditate. Everything has been flourishing since the time I started meditating that was in the age of 19 and now I'm 32. So yeah, it's been a fairly long time for me to be doing this and then suggesting somebody else to do it. There are thousands of studies which have been done on meditation and it has been proven that it improves your cognitive ability, it improves your health, improves your immunity. But if I talk about my personal experience, meditation has been the pivot that I needed in my life from being a hyper energetic volcanic person to channelizing my energy into the constructive pursuits that now I have as a business owner, as a nutritionist and as somebody who works with people on a daily basis, listens to a lot of trauma from people. If meditation was not there, I don't think I would be able to help people this much that I'm doing. The next thing that I try to be very regular with at least four to five times in a week is exercise. That one hour of exercise is going to reset you and it does it for me. Reset the entire mood for the day. It increases your endorphin which is the happy hormone and is going to keep you happy throughout the day. Apart from that, the physical benefits of being able to lose weight 
after my marriage and apart from that uh, increasing the productivity increasing the physical strength which is very important for females keeping our hormones in check these are among the very vast set of benefits that exercise can provide us personally i do yoga and strength training and a bit of cardio it's not an everyday thing because if i am very busy then it's not going to happen however exercise is something that i try to prioritize the next part of this morning routine is going to be breakfast of course i eat i have a huge appetite and i need the food there are people who try to skip breakfast because they are intermittent fasting i personally do not prefer that even if you are someone who is trying to do fasting try to do a 12 to 14 hour of fasting and do have a breakfast and in fact the word breakfast itself means the first meal that you have even if you are having it at 2 pm and talking about breakfast grabbing a sandwich and a coffee on the go is actually not a breakfast we need our carbohydrates protein fiber so that we start our day on a healthy note and in fact there are researches which have proven that the people who start their day with a breakfast are likely to not crave for any junk due throughout the day so if you are someone who is looking to lose some weight or just start their fitness journey or you are having a lot of cravings consider having a wholesome breakfast because it's going to keep your cravings definitely away for the day breakfast is also the time when me and my husband we start talking about the day and how we are going to plan for the future ahead and i prefer not to watch news because i do not want that kind of anxiety in my day so this is how i start my day calmly of course fitting all of these things in the morning meditation workout and then hydration and all of these things requires you to wake up early and that requires sleeping better that's why if you want to create a morning routine for yourself so that you can stress less be more productive be more happy throughout the day then watch this video next because in this video i talk about the things that you can do to sleep better so that your morning and the next day can be more productive so i will see you in this one and i would love to know your reviews about this video in the comment section below